Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 10 preview between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Jags. The Jaguars are without a lot of key pieces on offense, which just weakens a unit that struggled with consistency all season long. However, this is the NFL, and they still are ways the Jaguars can have success. This week versus the Titans, in my honest opinion, it has to come from the interior offensive line. If the Jaguars are able to spread the field by formation, it'll take one extra guy out of the box and will put the challenge on that interior to win up front so Maurice Jones-Drew can have success running the football, which would then make life so much easier on the flanks for those young wide receivers in Ace Sanders and Cecil Shorts. Defensively, I look at the linebacking core being the most important unit this week versus the Titans running game. They run a lot of power and stretch plays to attack the perimeter in an attempt to get Chris Johnson a crease or a lane. So it's vital for Geno Hayes, Russell Allen, and Paul Puzlesny to beat the guards to the spot in order to bottle up Chris Johnson. Now let's move over to Tennessee in this ball game and the Titans ground game was finally able to show signs of life last week versus St. Louis and this week versus Jacksonville. I believe they can have similar success versus the Jags by going with the quick game and that's going with your traps, your lead draws, your gut and gap plays versus this Jag defensive front. In the passing game, wide receiver Kendall Wright, in my opinion, is a budding superstar. The Titans have to continue to create ways to get him the ball. Wright, in my opinion as well, has a lot of Percy Harvin-like ability to his game that could be greatly beneficial to this offense if they're able to work him in consistently. Defensively, the biggest matchup I see will take place on the edges. The Titans have done a great job up front pressuring the quarterback this season, and this week they're facing a pair of inexperienced offensive tackles, and the key will be to play with controlled aggression because you don't want to get out of position versus the Jaguars who run a lot of design cutback runs with Maurice Jones-Drew. So if you detect fan protection, which means the offensive linemen are inviting you upfield to create that lane, you want to flatten out and collapse instead of heading upfield. I believe the Jacksonville Jaguars can have some success this week versus the Tennessee Titans if they're able to move the linebackers in the passing game. I'll show you one way they can get this done. Now, what we have drawn up here is your near set. We like to call where the tailback is nearest to the tight end. And what we're going to do, we're going to run a play action pass. We're going to fake quick outside zone right here, or basically a dive because we're not going to have the zone blocking on the back side, but we're going to show zone blocking on the front side. We're going to have the quarterback do what we call a show fake, where he just sticks the ball out there. And we have the lineman, like I said, front side showing, taking that zone step. And we're going to have the tight end take that zone step, but he's running up and running the corner route. Why? Because we have the receiver running the post, hopefully putting the strong safety in a bind. So we're trying to get him moved as well. But what we're going to do backside, we have turn back protection as well, just to protect ourselves from the guys rushing off the edge. We're trying to move this linebacker out of the way so we can get the football to the receiver on the in route. We're running this 10 yard in route. Big play potential right here because this free safety also could be in a bind as he sees the post screaming his way. Now what we're doing with the back in the backfield, the tailback, we're bringing him across the formation. I'm a big fan of bringing the tailback across the formation, showing play action one way, bringing another guy back the other way. That's misdirection. That's going to force these guys to go here because they see the fake going to the tailback who then will leak out into the flat hopefully pulling this linebacker here now you see this backer weak side seeing the action in the backfield holding his own right here playing contain versus the cutback sees the tailback coming back weak side it's going to fly out there thus creating the big void right there for your pass so that's one way the jacksonville jaguars can move the linebackers, get him going this way with the play action pass and leaking it back out into the backfield, holding the middle linebacker in the spot, holding the weak side linebacker until he sees the back swinging back weak side, hopefully trying to jump this route right here, creating the space for the end route because we have the post and we have the corner, hopefully occupying both safety. So that's how the Jacksonville Jaguars can move the linebackers and be effective in the passing game. I believe the Tennessee Titans can work their way down the field with a short, quick passing game by reading the flat defender by utilizing the curl flat concept. I'm going to show you what that is right here. Let's just say everyone wants to drop back in their coverage, but you're reading the flat defender, which is this outside linebacker. So you're going to run the curl flat combination, which means you're going to send the inside guy out in the flat. You're going to send the outside guy stemming up through here 
and settling down. And what you're reading is this flat defender. Now, if this guy buzzes out toward the flat, this is where you want to go with the football right here. If he settles underneath this curl route, then obviously you want to go here with the football. So it's a simple concept. It's quick. It's an easy read for a guy like Jake Locker to get the football out of his hands. Reading the flat defender with the curl flat comp the curl flat combination is a great way to move the football down the field with the quick passing game and also loosens up that box so that way they'll be able to run the football with chris johnson but again this is how they can attack the flat defender in the passing game and have some success this week versus the jacksonville jaguars The X factor for the Jaguars will be the time of possession. I believe their defense has been good enough to get stops throughout the course of a ball game. So now it's up to the offense to start rewarding the defense's efforts with long sustained touchdown drives. If they're able to put up sevens instead of threes, the Jags have a great shot to win this matchup. The X factor for the Titans, in my opinion, will be Justin Hunter. Here's a guy that has just as much explosive potential as does Kendall Wright. They have to find ways to get him on the field. And if they can do so versus Jacksonville, it could pay off in a big way. Now, here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For Jacksonville, execution trumps all. Doesn't matter about the talent, doesn't matter about the record. You have to execute. And if they can do so, they can win this game. And the linebackers must excel on both ends of defense. That's stopping the run and also playing great underneath coverage and possessions, possessions, possessions. They have to maintain those possessions, long sustained drives, paying off with touchdowns, and the Jags can definitely come away victorious. And for the Titans in this ball game, they have to start working intermediate to deep in the passing game. It's time for Jake Locker to start stretching the field vertically with his arm so that way it loosens up the box for the running game. And the movement along the offensive line has to continue. I'm a big fan of how they move their guards in a running game, but they have to move the pocket in the passing game, giving Jake Locker different launch pad spots so he can throw the football on the move. And they have to win the special teams battle versus Jacksonville. You have to win two out of the three aspects of a football game to come away victorious win the special teams battle, and make Jacksonville drive the length of the field. I like the Titans in this ball game. Defensively, they'll do a great job in slowing down what Jacksonville wants to do on offense. And I do believe the running game of the Titans is starting to come around, which means the play action pass game should be a lot better. So I like the Titans to put together a well-rounded effort in knocking off Jacksonville. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Titan fan forums and Jaguar fan forums for always showing football game plan support.